All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add text to a photo on your iPhone. First of all, we're gonna to go to Photos, click on it. We're gonna pick a photo, click on that. And then what we're gonna do is come up to the right-hand corner, we're gonna hit Edit. It's gonna give us this page here, and at the very top, you're gonna to notice there's Cancel and Done. Underneath Done is the markup. We've gotta to get to that, so you've gotta click that center uh, circle with a pin in it. And then it's gonna give us this page, it's the markup page. Then if we come down to the bottom, we can click the plus sign. It gives us this pop-up. In the middle, it says Add Text. When I click that, we're going to get a text field in there. Bam. You can see it right here. That's our text field. Now, at the very bottom, you've got um, five different ways that you can edit it. First of all, let's go ahead and, and change the color. If you see that black circle, that's color. When I click that, it's going to open up a, a box. Now we can pick any color in this box. I'm going to pick white. If I'm good with that, I come to the X on the right-hand corner, I click out, and now you can see the white text. Now to move it, it's kind of tricky. You've got to get your finger in the middle, and you just kind of drag it. So I'm going to try to drag it down to here because I want the white to show up. So I'm going to put my finger in it, and I'm going to pull up. It, sometimes it pops up this, where you can do you know these edits. You can duplicate it, copy it, cut it, or delete it. I don't want to do that. I want to drag it down. So I'm going to pull it down here. Once I get down here, now I can see it, right? Now, if I want to change, let's say, the font, I would go to the first thing. It gives me this pop-up, and then I'm going to go to, I don't know, let's do this one here. It's kind of a funky-looking font. All right, if we're good with that, then we can come here, and we can hit 60, and we can change the actual size of it. So if I use this, I can make it bigger this way. You can see how it's getting bigger. Or I could just go like this, or like this to make it smaller right so if we're cool with that then we touch anywhere on the photo it brings us back to our text this is for justification right here you see this if i click this you, you know you, it justifies the text but it really doesn't do very much you know unless you have a big body of text so we don't really need it this this one here you can underline it you can put a line through it you can make it bold on some fonts on this font you can't do it like if i change the font let me just go back to um, let's go to this font here. Now, if I go here, I could maybe make it bold or I could make it italic. Oh, that one doesn't allow me to do that. All right, anyway, let's, well, we'll leave it like that. We'll leave it bold, right? All right, so let's go here. I'm going to go back to my other font because I like my other font better. All right, so now um, what I want to do is I want to change the text in the in interior of this. Right now it just says text. I don't want that. So what I need to do is double tap it. And it gives me my keyboard. And then I've got to eliminate that. So I've got to basically delete it. So I'm going to hit my delete uh, arrow here and get rid of that. And then I'm just going to write whatever text I want. And I'm just going to put K-I-T-E. If I touch anywhere on the photo, bam, there I am. I've got my text on there. And if I want to save it, I just come up here and I hit done. If I want to go back and click out of it, I can do undo. You know, it's kind of like... Um, when you go Command Z on your on your terminal, that's what this is right here. It's that back curved arrow in a circle. And if you do that, what happens is this will go back to the last edit. Let me see if I can do one here. See, it goes back to the last edit. You can just keep doing it until you get to where you want to be. You know what I mean? If you just want to cancel it all together, you just hit cancel. And you're right back to your original photo. And that's basically how you do it. If you hit cancel again, it brings you back to your photo app, and if you hit here, you go back here, and then you're out of it, and Bob's your uncle. All right, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and check out my other awesome videos. Peace out.